Hey there, and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Jenny, and this is Casey, and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today, we are using the Instant Pot to get dinner on your table. That's right, Jenny. Today, we're making garlic parmesan spaghetti squash. I'm so excited. Yes. This recipe is super easy. Mm -hmm. It has a ton of flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking a little bit about our spaghetti squash. So we have a spaghetti squash here. This is just a little one. Um, but it's already been cut in half. And a little tip to help you get through that spaghetti squash skin, because it, it can be kind of hard to wrestle through. Yeah. Sometimes a little scary. Kind of scary. <laughs> is to just microwave the squash for a couple minutes, and that will soften the skin. So you don't have to work as hard to cut through it. But once you do get through it, um, we're going to go ahead and just scoop out the seeds. I love the smell of raw squash. I don't know if that's weird. <laughs> It raw cooked, really good. all yeah. of it. <laughs> it just smells like fall to me. Yes, definitely. This is a fall recipe for sure. Yeah. All right, so after I get all of the insides scooped out, I'm going to get them into the Instant Pot. So I have the Instant Pot set up with a little metal trivet inside, and the squash will sit on top of that. And I'm going to get a cup of water into the bottom just to help steam it. So since these squash halves are pretty small, they will nestle in pretty easily. But if you have a bigger one, um, you might have to play a little Tetris to get them all situated. <laughs> but once they're in there, we're going to go ahead and seal this up. Let's see. Oops. Make sure it's set to sealing. I've made that mistake before. And then manual on high for seven minutes. So super fast. Yeah, definitely. Um, so. That's kind of how you would start it. Um, we do have one already made. Yes. Um, so we'll go ahead and work on that. So this one, as you can see, is a lot bigger than the one that we have in the Instant Pot. Um, so as Jenny said, if you need to cut it or whatever to make it fit, that works. Um, so to get the strands out of this, just take a section and then take a fork and just kind of scrape it out. Again, another good job for kids. Um, just make sure that these are cool enough for you to handle them, because they can be pretty hot when they first come out. Yes. And it looks just like spaghetti. It does. <laughs> take over from here. Sure. So while Jenny's finishing that up, um, we have some olive oil over here working. Um, we're just going to add some garlic. Love that sizzle. Yes. Some shallots. And we're just going to cook those until they're translucent. It should only take a few minutes. Um, this is another thing I like to do, too. Whenever I'm cooking anything, I feel like just making or heating up garlic in a pan makes your house smell amazing. Yeah. And it really right. is so easy to scoop out the spaghetti squash strands. I've noticed that it's a lot easier to scrape it out when it's been cooked in the Instant Pot compared oh, to an sure. oven. Mm -hmm. um, so not only is it faster, it scrapes a lot easier as well. But that's just my experience. Yeah. And then you get more bang for your buck to kind of get more out of the squash yeah, that way. Yeah, for sure. So it basically just fell out of there. That's awesome. Yeah, and All one right. thing that I didn't mention yet is after the spaghetti squash is all cooked and the seven minutes is up, Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to manually release all of that pressure um, so we don't overcook the squash. If you let it naturally release, the squash is probably going to turn to mush. So we want to manually release that pressure. That makes sense. All right, this is looking, those shallots are looking a little more translucent here. So we're just going to add um, some butter and some parsley. And this we're really just going to cook until the butter melts. So shouldn't take too long, but this is making a nice kind of, I guess, sauce sort of thing for our squash that's going to go yeah. really well together. I love the flavors of garlic and shallots and, of course, that hint of butter. Yes. Um, and cheese. <laughs> of course. Got to have the cheese. Yeah, you never have enough cheese, right? Yes. And the parsley, too, of course, you know, it tastes great, but I like the little pop of green that it adds as mm -hmm. well. All right, so that butter is just about melted. So we're going to take that off of the heat. And we're going to add the ch Parmesan cheese at this point. We just got some shredded Parmesan. And mix that together. All right, 
Do you want me to hold the bowl for you? Are you Perfect, scoop? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Teamwork right. this. Yes. <laughs> Oof. All right. So we've got the spaghetti squash in here. We're just going to kind of mix everything together as best as we can. It smells so good. So good. Oh, look at that cheese. It starts melting. It's almost like a, an, a, a version of macaroni and cheese. Kind yeah. Of. <laughs> like we've got our spaghetti squash. We've got Parmesan. All right. OK. Let's give this a try. Yes. Oh, yeah. Salt and pepper, if you would like. Yep. And then we've got some extra Parmesan for topping as On well. On top, we'll give you a four. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Yum. Oh, so flavorful. And there's really not a lot of ingredients, but no. all of it together, just really tasty. It's super good. Well, we hope you give this easy and delicious Instant Pot recipe a try. And for more recipes and resources from your Mealtime Mentors, visit festfoods.com.